don't understand the God complex of some teachers. They think that just because they control the classroom, they can torture the students. Like today, my AP Euro teacher told us we're going to have a midterm tomorrow. A midterm in October? It's not even the middle of the term, yet he's calling it one of his pop midterms. Who's ever heard of a pop midterm? Honestly, I'm going to be studying all night because I don't know what he's going to put on this test. He can have 18 European history or like modern European culture. It would be so much easier if you'd just given us a hint. But now I have to study my entire school textbook and my personal textbook. It's going to be a long night. But I always come prepared. You mean that you do not know who I am? Should I? Why, I am Napoleon Bonaparte. I'm sure the pleasure is yours. Le plaisir es le vôtre. Napoleon, as in the French military and political leader in the 19th century? Why, yes, of course it is me. And who might you be? Emma Holden. Another question. Why am I here? Maybe he was sent here by my subconscious to learn from. After all, he is a primary source. Maybe this means he'll be a big part of the test tomorrow. I imagine you're here to help me with a problem of mine. Mon chéri, I cannot help you with your problems. I am the ruler of the world, after all. I am sure I have much better places to be and things to be doing. Now, if you do not mind, I must get back to doing those better things. Ruler of the world? You're not the ruler of the world, you're dead. Well, yes, I realize that I am dead. Do not think that I am so stupid. But before I was banished the second time, though, my followers vowed to me that they would take over the world in my name. I assume that that is exactly what they did. No, I'm positive that has never happened. Sacre bleu! <laughs> this cannot be! Maybe I can help you then. But you have to help me first. How could a girl like you help me, the greatest man who ever lived? I can help you with your world domination. But you have to help me with my history test. This is a good offer. I accept. What was your greatest accomplishment? A specific battle? A strategy that you came up with? Come on, you're Napoleon Bonaparte. You have to have a crowning achievement. I think the proudest I have ever been of something that I have done was when I won the first prize in the French quilting competition. What? You see, Europe may be small, but it takes a long time to get from France to Germany in a horse-drawn carriage. So I picked up a thing or two about quilting, and it became my passion. I was an expert quilter. My handiwork was beyond compare. No one even came close to me as competition. I was untouchable. Your crowning, your crowning achievement is quilting? Well, do not sound so critical of me. It is quite rude. After all, what have you ever done? Nothing that is correct. <laughs> People know who I am. Do they know who you are? I don't care what people think of me. No, mon chéri. I did not ask what people thought of you. I asked if people thought of you. Why do you keep your nose stuck in these books? I study so I can get good grades. What good will good grades do you if you have no idea what you are learning about? If you have no idea about life? I'm not sure. Why do you think these grades define you? Anyone can get a good grade, but it takes courage to fail with honor. But I can't fail this test. My parents would be so disappointed, and I have to be a good role model for my little sister. Do they want her to fade into the background as you do now? Or do they want the both of you to stand out amongst the pack? I don't know. Why do you not try? I do try. I try so hard. But you do not try when it matters. You're content to live your life in the background. You must go out and make a name for yourself. Life isn't about what sort of grades you get. You live like, hor like a horse with blinders on. You must open yourself to the possibilities around you. Life is about your experiences, your relationships, your friends. Name one friend that you have right now. Taylor. 
Taylor. Taylor who? Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Did she know that you were trouble when you walked in? Or perhaps she just shook it off? How do you know Taylor Swift? <laughs> I'm dead, not uncultured. Well, I don't see what any of this has to do with my grades. So what if I want to ace every test? I'm an overachiever. But see, problem occurs when you put the rest of your life out of your mind and pretend it is not worth living. So what? Do you want me to fail this test? And what will that prove? Will that prove that I have guts? And where will guts get me? People will know who you are, not some girl who sits in the front row of all of her classes and knows the answer to every question. Oh, and they will not know you as the girl who corrects the teacher or reminds them about the homework because you are most definitely that girl. You dankish, boiled brain giglet. <laughs> what words just came out of your mouth? Alas, I am letting on to my age. I feel as though my work here is done. Well, I still don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Should I ace it, study for the test and ace it, or should I fail it? Tell me the truth. Do you think I care about your petty problems? I am Napoleon Bonaparte. What do I care about some silly little girl? You're right. <laughs> Fuck it. <gasps> I said a bad curse. Congratulations. So do not forget your promise to me. I will be back to conquer the world alongside you one day. Be brave. Be the heroine of your own story. Much luck, Napoleon Bonaparte. P.S. Don't forget our deal. We'll start hashing out the details next time I see you. What the fuck? <laughs>